Cast, cast all your cares upon the Lord. You know, don't be worried about all the bullshit in the world. Trying to have uh, flashy rings, the newest, latest shoes, the newest car. Because the Lord will take that from you. When you die, is that Bentley going with you? When you die, is that Rolex going with you? No. Right. When you die, you're going to have to face the Lord. And if you wasn't right. down here doing what you were supposed to do, you already know you're not going to like it. Right. Especially in the, uh, in the kingdom, the two-thirds, I mean, they still going to be uh, better off than anybody, than the heathens out here, but they're not going to be on the highest state as the elect uh, that was coming out and was sincerely suffering every day uh, and every week, you know, for this truth. You know, being uh, considered weird, being considered outcast, Crazy. just because you believe in the scriptures. Right. Wholeheartedly. <laughs> yeah, wholeheartedly. Yeah, because... Because uh, a, 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 a wicked nigga here tell you, oh, you take the Bible too serious. I'm on, oh, what? A yes, word? Yes, That's evil. Yeah. John <laughs> and, and it said, cast your care upon him. How do you get them demons off you, man? You, you got you to gotta pray, man, because them demons, they, them, demons, them demons will fuck with you, man. You got to pray for the Lord to, to take them them demons away from you. You got to fast. Then you have shot say only these go away with fasting and prayer. Yeah, right. You gotta fight. You gotta fight against them, spi them spirits through, through the spirit, through, through the spirit of Yahweh shot. Uh, be sober. Be vigilant. Uh, vigilant. Oh, vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring yeah. lion, walking yeah. about yeah. seeking yeah. whom he may devour. Nah, lions don't play. No. If, if a lion were to come down this street right now. Everybody clearing out. Yeah. Motherfuckers down there is gonna start running. And, the and the lying about a, a 200 yards away from it. They gonna go in the store, niggas hopping on top of cars. That's how that's how it's comparing Satan to a ravenous lion. That's how hard he'll try to come for you. Can you take a lion barehanded? I know I can't. I'm not King David or Samson. All right. I I ain't finna go fucking wrestle with no damn uh, lion. I ain't got it like that. All right. Now that's. <laughs> that, that, that's how hard he gonna come at you spiritually. Yep. So you know, if he's coming at you spiritually hard as a lion, you gotta have something. You gotta have yeah, yeah. some sort of shield, some sort of uh, chair to get on top of. And that's these scripts. Get yep. that real quick. You just said it. Yep. So, yeah. Yep. Thirty-eight. This is John, Saint John, chapter seven, verse thirty-eight. He that believe it on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly flow shall flow rivers of living water. But what? this. Go ahead. Right, because right? you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna have the understanding. Yeah, you're gonna understand the understanding. Yep. You know, and you, you're gonna know because this is the guy. This is a, once again, this is a, the prepper's guy for what's about to happen. <laughs> this is the real prepper's guy. It's gonna be a real war that's gonna hit these streets of America. It's gonna these this these things right here told you what happened. It's going to be valuable. But it's going to be valuable, yeah. Because exactly. it's not going to be TV when people's getting killed out here. Exactly. It's not going to be uh, news, uh, news stations when motherfuckers is kicking in your front door trying to take everything you have. Okay. And, if, and if you don't have none, they just take you as a replacement. Yeah, you know, it's not right. going to be no Xbox or no damn PlayStation in them times. Oh. Nope. No, no cell phone, no nothing. You, you're going to have, if you're lucky, your clothes. Because <laughs> niggas <laughs> might fuck you up. Rip that shit off. Right, right. Like, in, right. like in the robe. Yeah. Took his yeah. fucking take clothes. Yeah. So they at least butt neck in the right. street. It's going to be raw out here. Still got more time, huh? And you niggas like sleeping at night with your boxers on. He's not going to kick Ooh. in the door huh? in the winter and shit. Drag your ass out. You cold. You get blistered up and shit. You just don't know what the fuck. That's what's going to happen to you scoffers, man. The door going to get kicked in at four in the morning. Why you in your box? No, no, nah, nah, they gonna be on their computer. Yeah, yeah, they gonna be on talking <laughs> shit. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Put the period at the end. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Cut his ass. Boom. Why you busy <laughs> talking <you>, shit? <laughs> you want me to read verse nine? Uh, go ahead. Adam. Okay, verse nine. Who resist stead, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the time that, that was locked. Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your, I'm gonna read that again. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So, so everybody, everybody's gonna suffer. In other words, if you're really a man of the Lord and you're doing the word, you're gonna have to suffer. So you might as well get ready for it. Don't use that as an excuse to get soft and to fall out and to leave. Oh, I'm, oh man, you know what? I fell behind on a bill. Man, I, man, the Lord ain't doing nothing for me. Man, the Lord ain't with me. I'm gonna go do my own. That's some wicked, evil, some some uh, some uh, grotesque.
dark, thinking. wicked shit. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it don't matter how, <laughs> what you're going through, what you're suffering through. You have to hold your faith. Yep. You know, don't be as Joe's wife. Wow, well, I was just about to say that. I was about to say that. Because that, that's what we did the video right. on yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Dude, yeah. We said, don't be as Joe's wife. Uh, uh, Job 2 and, 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 I think it's 9. Then said his wife unto him, do thou still retain thy integrity? Curse the most high and die. So Joe's wife, he started catching hell. He was losing his money, losing his houses, lost his kids. Boy. She said, yep, she said, curse the most high and die. So yep. just blaspheme and just go die. And that's the that's the worst thing you can do. Trying yep. to uh, blasphemy, it says the scripture, blasphemy won't be forgiven. That's the only thing. So it don't matter what you do, man. I mean what you go through, you have to hold the faith. Don't yep. don't get soft and quit. We right here at the end. We about to get the kingdom of heaven. We ain't got time to be getting soft. We ain't got time to be, oh man, you know what, man? I, I miss my friends in the world, man. I miss going out and partying all the time. You know what, man? I'm, look, let me go back to college. Let me go. No, nah, man, you're supposed to stay rooted in this. We almost at the end. We're, our salvation is nearer than we believe. Right. No. That's right. That's right. The Lord is about to make right. his uh, reappearance in the world. We're, we're very close to it. And if you want to get weak, and go back to being a, a wicked person in the world, then you deserve whatever destruction comes to you. And, and you and you and you you put your family at jeopardy of receiving judgment too by not following the Lord. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You know, uh, this is I'm gonna go back to Ephesians six and eleven. The, put on the whole armor of Yahweh Shimei that uh, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. She heard that name and flee. She said, wicked flee. <laughs> she heard that name, y'all, about she was shy and she left. You know? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Like I was saying a couple minutes earlier, you know, we're not fighting physical demons out here. We ain't head locking, rear neck choking double-legged uh, physical demons. We're fighting them spiritually and in our heads. Every step you take, I uh, like that song, every step you take, every breath you move, that shit go, I'm going to be watching. That's how they be on you. That's how they be on you. Be Beautiful. You got to be ready, man. You got to be ready to fight them. You know, there's this, around the corner, like. there's, this, there's a show I like. It's called Berserk. It's uh, an animated no, movie. Yeah. He got sent to the demon world because they basically kidnapped him and they put a mark in the back of his neck. Wow. So every single night they come and fuck with him. Every yeah. every, every night. But they make themselves physical and try to kill him. Wow. So he has to fight the demons off every single night. And that's how we have to be out here. You can't let no demonic thoughts take over. You know, that's how you end up a damn atheist or something. Yeah. Right, you start start giving in, you're fucking around, you know what man, it's God even real man, you know what? Uh, you know what man? You know, that's how you get caught up. Can I, let me just finish it. This is verse 13 said, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand it in the evil day, and having done all to stand. All you can do in this truth is work to stand strong and to endure to the end. You know, to, that you've been through, because we all been, like the scripture said, all the brothers been going through affliction, man. Even if it's something as small as if somebody offer you some pork, you say no. Because you know the Most High said don't eat it. Some, some as small as that, you know, that's standing up uh, righteously for the Lord, you know. That's, you know, brothers, if you live with your family, that should have happened to you all the time. They might come home with some, oh, oh, we getting some uh, pizza. You pepperoni. want some? I was going uh, get some cheese. They might come home with some pepperoni anyway. Yeah, be like, like, all right, Just I'm take cool. the pepperoni off. Nah, no, nah, I'm going to just drink some water tonight. I'll be all right. Oh, come on. Oh, let's go. Are we going to the barber shop? You want to get your line up? No. Nah. Right. Lord said we can't get no line ups. So I'm leave my head the way it is. All right, Lord said, don't get no tattoos. Oh, we going to the, oh, we got to get these summer tattoos. Come on, boy. No, we going to leave, leave my body naked and smooth. No, no I, you know Ray Ray got blunt in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, come on. Come Ray Ray got a blunt. Come, come hit this tree with us, boy. Boy, you used to smoke like a chimney. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, you got to leave that alone. That shit. You can't yeah. do that no more. That's, that, those are those are different things that men and the Lord are going to do that differ, differentiates us from the people in the world. Everybody else in the world gives in to their sin so much that it's just normal to them. They don't realize that they're sinning. Right. They don't realize that what they're doing, that fucking another man's woman is wicked. That being a faggot is wicked. That's how far into it that, uh, they are. Mm -hmm. But us having these scriptures, this supposed to this supposed to be our guidelines to let us know to stay away from that shit. Right. So I'm gonna have Zion get that even home. 
This is uh, Philippians 2 and 27. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Hamashiach, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs. God, so that first part said, so let your conversation, uh, what does it say? It's like, uh, be as if, be as it becometh the gospel of Hamashiach. Be as if it becometh the gospel. So meaning have righteous conversation. You know, you might talk about uh, so, you know, bullshit, oh, the next fight that's coming up, oh, the basketball game, oh, I'm gonna uh, go here and get uh, some new shoes or something, but really, you know, that's not, that's not what, every time a brother hits you up, you shouldn't be on some bullshit. Mm -hmm. Brother might hit you up. That's right. Hey, I, what you, you been reading this week? What you, yeah. you going in anything? Oh, shit. Hey, brother called me at like 12 at night, a couple nights ago, we was on the phone for like two hours, just having a spiritual, we was ranting and shit about shit in the world. <laughs> we was on the phone for like two yeah. hours. Fucking late as hell, just going having spiritual talk, you know. You know that's that's things you got to be uh, always focused in. That's why men of the Lord shouldn't be hanging around people in the world. Cause how you going how you gonna be uh, with your brother? I, I'll say this. I'll say uh, my brother right here, cause I got a worldly brother. He gonna be. I, I say like if he tried to come hang out with us, he couldn't be with us. What what do we have in common with it's people in the world? He gonna be talking yeah. about the next basketball game. Let's. Oh, hey, can we go to Nike store? I want to get these new chains, nigga. You know, they got the, the uh, J3000 super jumpers, you know? Some old bullshit, man. And we're going to be sitting there looking. Man, we're going to do a video. You're going to have to go sit outside <laughs> the, get the car. Fuck up. Yeah, Staying out there, don't knock on the door, man. We want to we wanna read these scriptures. You're making too much noise. You know? Don't walk at the park. We got to have a conversation uh, in the gospel. Yeah, hey, so can't, uh, you can't build with niggas in the world. You know oh, what I'm saying? They ain't, oh, they ain't talking the same talk. It's like um, trying to mesh like I don't know, like Legos and it, it connects. You know right, saying? right, yeah. Like you know, it don't, it don't fit. You know right. what I'm saying? Don't mesh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs. That ye stand fast in one spirit. One spirit. With one mind. One mind. Mm -hmm. Striving together for the faith of the gospel. God. God. That's how we're supposed to be. One mind, one spirit, one faith. All up here as a brotherhood. You know, ain't supposed to be no, uh, I forgot the fucking word. It starts with deep, uh, it's like destination or something. But it's not supposed to be. Yeah, it's not supposed to be dissension. No, division. Upon, yeah, division. division. You're not supposed to have brothers over here believing the name of Jehovah by Shem Yahweh Shai than a brother over here talking about Jehovah. Huh? That, don't, that don't make damn sense, no. all right? You can't have the, all the brothers know uh, who the Israelites are, the 12 tribes, but you got somebody saying Native Americans, Latinos ain't Israelites. You know, that's not how we, that's not how we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be one whole unit, uh, like fucking G unit, you know? We're supposed to be, right. we're supposed to be a unit, yeah, tight. Yeah, yeah. Like a, like a, uh, Voltron. Yeah, right. yeah, Voltron. Yeah. Yeah. Brothers, yeah. oh, oh shit. Go get it. Yeah, go get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. Get that Voltron scripture. scripture. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got that scripture. Hey, somebody get that. They can. That's how we're supposed to be. Like, literally. We're supposed to be like Voltron. One brother's an arm. One arm. Yeah, one brother's a leg. One brother's an eye. But when everybody comes together, we all work functionally. You know? If, if one brother, if the, if the arm thinks he's the shit, he gonna be fucking everybody up. If the, if the eyeball, man, I'm the best eyeball we got. Y'all, I'm gonna do my, no, you know. I can use an example of fallouts, you know. Uh, a fallout might have a real good talent. You know, they might be an excellent speaker, might have all the precepts, might be uh, might uh, be good at uh, getting signs made, you know. Might be, hell, might be making garments for everybody. But if they get proud in that one fact, then hey, they're they gonna be sifted out, you know? We all brothers, we all pieces of the puzzle that come together to do what we must. And we're supposed to stay tight. You don't try to exalt yourself over another brother. Right? You don't think that you're better than somebody just because you might know. You might remember a couple more precepts. I don't mean anything. You might remember 100 precepts, but when the destruction comes, is 100 precepts gonna get you saved? Right. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. You got something? Yeah. yeah you get uh, 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 this is Romans 12 and 3. For I say through the uh, Slaki, this is Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to uh, to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Lord's side. For I say through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, 
not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, uh -huh. but to think soberly according to the Most High, have dealt to every man the measure of faith. Uh -huh. That's right. If I can use an example, there's this brother that, uh, you know, I, I'm teaching right now.